Do I even? We asked you guys what um what your favorite uh, romantic comedies were, and so we chose um the most uh, popular ones that you guys cho chose. So this is choose choose chose. I don't know. Um so. Yeah, this is your guys' top 10. Romantic comedies are one of the most loved uh, movies, TV shows, and book genre. It, it's one of my favorite um, genre. Um, it, it, it's just, it can, it can be heartfelt. It can make you happy, sad, mad, frustrated. Um, and I don't know, it's just usually, it's just a cute movie. Um, but, but uh... Let's start our your guys' top 10 romantic comedies. My life's become a mother romantic comedy! At number 10, we have While You Were Sleeping. Despite how stockish it seems, it's an adorable movie. Um, it's about um, a Chicago transit, transit worker who um, is mistaken for a coma patient's fiance. It's so cute. I, I'm probably gonna say this for all the movies, but th these are so, such cute movies. Um, it was made in 1995 with a 80% on Rotten Tomatoes and a 6.7 out of 10 for, from IMDb. This movie uh, brought home 182 million US dollars from the movie from the uh, box office with a budget of 17 million US dollars. It was nominated for one Golden Globe award and four other awards and won and uh, yeah, and four other awards and won four of the awards. It stars Sandra Bullock, Bullock and Bill Pullman. I love this movie. Um, make sure to tell us on our community page if you've watched this movie and if you in, if you enjoyed it. The movie in spot nine is uh, There's Something About Mary. It was made in 1998 and has an 83% on Rotten Tomatoes and a 7.1 out of 10 from IMDb. This movie brought home 368 million US dollars from the box office with a budget of 23 million US dollars. That's a lot of money. This movie was nominated for 15 different awards, two Golden Globe Awards, and um, won 17 awards. This movie is about a guy who gets the chance to um, meet up with his crush from high school, despite how terrible their crush back in the day in high school was. Um, such a cute movie. This movie stars Cameron Diaz and Ben Stiller. This was your guys' um, pick. The movie you guys chose in number eight is Made in Manhattan. This is one of my favorite movies. Uh, one of my favorite, yeah, movies in general. Um, it was made in 2002 and has a 38% on Rotten Tomatoes, but despite the rating on Rotten Tomatoes, I love this movie. And it also only has a 5.3 out of 10 on IMDb. It's very sad. I love this movie. It was nominated for eight awards and won one award. So if it was that bad Rotten Tomatoes and IMDb, it shouldn't have been nominated for any awards and shouldn't have won any of them or any uh, one. This movie brought home 163.8 US dollars with a budget of 55 million US dollars. They only made like, like, oh yeah, they only made a hundred million dollars. Um, <laughs> this movie is starring Jennifer Lopez. Um, it's about a wealthy candidate who um, falls in love with a hotel maid, um, but he thinks she's wealthy because she uh, sees her in a rich's woman, a rich woman's white dress. It's a great movie. I love it. Um, it has so many 
turns, um, and it'll, just so many twists and turns, and I love it. The movie that you guys chose for the seventh spot on this list is Sixteen Candles. This is a fan favorite and a very well-known movie, so I see how it is on the list. It it was made in 1984, um, and they, they brought home 23.7 million US dollars. And it doesn't seem like a lot, but it was a lot in the 80s, in 1984. So um, it had a budget of 6.5 US dollars, um, which again, was a lot in 1984. Um, it has an 84% on Rotten Tomatoes and a 7.1 um, out of 10 from I IMDB. Most people, uh, a lot of people don't like this movie because how in, uh, politically incorrect it was. Um, but the fan, like the fan, uh, all their fans though, are like hardcore fans. So, uh, and they, they will fight for the movie 16, 16 Candles. Um, they'll fight against the people who don't like it because it's inc uh, politically incorrect. Um, I love this movie. Uh, I, I think it's, yes, it is very politically incorrect, but it is so, it's, it's such a great movie. Um, it's about a girl's so-called 16th our sweet 16th birthday, um, who, what, becomes anything but sweet. She suffers almost every single embarrassment ever. Um, this, um, it had one nomination and two award wins. Um, it was produced by Hilton A. Green and directed by John Hughes. Um, I love this movie. I've only watched it once, but the one time that I did watch it, it was great. Now, the movie that you guys chose for the sixth spot, uh, sixth spot on this list is She's All That. What an exquisite movie. Um, one of my favorites. But it was made in 1999 with a 40% on Rotten Tomatoes and a 5.9 out of 10 on IMBD or IMDB. So gross. Why would they? Oh, it's such a good movie and they put it 40%? Rotten Tomatoes, do better. It has five award nominations and the movie won eight awards. Rotten Tomatoes. Come on, it's a good movie. Um, it made 103.2 million US dollars with a budget of 10 million US dollars. That's a lot of money. <laughs> um, this was directed by Robert Iscove um, and it stars Freddie Prince Jr. and Rachel Lee Cook. It's about a popular jock who accepts a bet. The popular jock is Freddie Prince Jr. Uh, he accepts a bet from his friends. The bet was that he has, to, they'll, they'll choose um, a girl, which was the un, most unpopular and ugliest girl in the school. Freddie Prince Jr. had to um, make her prom queen. And uh, it's such a cute movie. Um, if you've watched the movie, uh, you'll know how good it is, unless you hate it. Cause then like, what's, what's up with you? Cause it's a great movie. Anyway, going down the trail. The number five spot was You've Got Mail. Uh, also known as Shop Around the Corner, it was, um, it was remade, because I, I forget what date, what year it was, but it was like really, really old. And so they remade it um, in 1998. And, um, but something that's really cool is that the sh sh bookstore that she um, works at is called Shop Around the Corner. So they, so it still has like the, the little salt on the uh, pasta. <laughs> um, it has a 
70% on Rotten Tomatoes and a 6.7 on IMBD. Um, it was nominated for one Golden Globe and seven other awards. It also won six awards. You've Got Mail brought home 250.8 million US dollars from the box office with a budget of 65 million US dollars. Um, oh, it's such a good movie. Like, oh, it's just like, oh, I don't, I don't know how to explain it, but it's just like, hmm. You know, you're just, it's, it's so fun when movies, you know, do it, like, they make the audience, um, know everything, but the characters in the movies don't know it, and you're just like, no, um, you know, and so it, um, it stars Meg Ryan and Tom Hanks, uh, some of the best actors, in my opinion. Um, it's about um, a bookstore owner and... So Kathleen Kelly and Joe Fox. They fall in love off the internet. And they're both fully unaware that the guy is trying to put the girl out of business. Because the girl owns a bookstore. Which is shop around the corner. Um, yeah, it's just... Oh, I, I keep on saying this for all the movies, but you guys chose such good movies. Um, I love this movie so darn much. Uh, the fourth, fourth spot, which is, drum roll, please, serendipity. Um, so romantic, so amazing. Um, me, my mom, my dad, I'll always watch this, um, every year. It's such a great movie, although it has a 58% on Rotten Tomatoes. What you doing? Um, and a si okay, but it has a 6.9 out of 10 for IMDb. It was nominated for three awards. It did not win any of them, which I do not get. They didn't win any awards. What? This is such a great movie. I can't I can't even believe it. They brought home 77.5 million dollars. Um not a lot. I don't know how they how this movie was not doing that not a lot of people know what it is and not, not a lot of people like it. I don't get it. I do not get it. They had a budget of 28 million dollars which like, they only brought home $50 million, really, because of the 28 mi Oh, maybe, like, like, they only brought home, like, $40 million from the box office. That's sad, because their budget was $28 million, and... That's just so sad. It's such a good movie, and no one likes, like, likes it, or has watched it. If you haven't watched Serendipity, go watch it, because it's amazing. Oh, it stars Kate Beckinsale, who, if you don't know already, is like, dad loves her. But it also stars John Kozak. I think Kozak? I think that's how you pronounce it. It's about a couple who look for each other's after the evening they first met and fell in love. And then they separated, um, convinced that they, they'll find each other again. Um, super romantic movie. I totally think that you guys should watch it if you haven't already. Anyway, moving down the gravy train. Three. Okay, we're getting real, guys. Um, th okay, f so, the number three, what you guys chose is amazing. Um, it's To All the Boys I've Loved Before. It's a newer, uh, movie. It came out in 2018. Um... I love it so much. It's one of my favorite uh, romantic comedies or um, one of my favorite movies in general. Uh, I went, oh, I watch it all the time. I watch it like every month. They were talking about the first one, not the second or third one. I haven't finished the third one. I'm half done it. 
Um, I've watched the second one. So far, I think the first one is my favorite. Um, that's the one that I usually watch every month. It has a 96% on Rotten Tomatoes. So Rotten Tomatoes now knows what they're talking about. Um, they, it also has a 7.1 out of 10 on IMDb, um, which is also pretty decent. To all the boys I've loved before, was nominated for 11 uh, awards and won 5 awards. So, um, it also brought home 49 million US dollars from the box office, but I think they should have brought home more. I think they should have got more. Um, with a budget of 31 million US dollars, it's about a teenage lovesick girl. Um, girl's secret love letters get sent out and exposed and messes with her love life. Um, oh, I keep on saying this, but it's such a good movie. Come on! Anyway, moving down the gravy train. That doesn't make sense. I should stop saying that. That doesn't make sense. Okay. We are now on the number two movie that... The second movie on my list, on the list that you guys chose was... Drumroll, please. Sleepless in Seattle. I love this movie. Dad loves this movie. Um, it was made in 1993. It has a 75% on Rotten Tomatoes. I don't understand why. It also has a 6.8 out of 10 um, on IMDb. Um, it was nominated for two Oscars. Oscars! Um, and 17 other awards. It also won four awards. Um... They, it, it was, the movie was nominated for two Oscars. Oscars, Rotten Tomatoes do better. They might have not won them. But that doesn't deserve an, only a 75%. Um, it uh, brought home $125.6 million do US dollars. Um, which is, uh, which is really good. <laughs> um, and with a budget of $21 million US dollars. Um. Seriously, guys. Seriously, you got a flush. Um, it stars Meg Ryan and Tom Hanks again. They're such a great match for movies. Um, it's about a widowed man's uh, son calls a radio talk show to find his father a new wife. It is, oh, I love this movie so much. Now, before we go on to the number one romantic comedy that you guys have cho cho chosen, cho chosen, 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 um, here are some runner-ups that did not, didn't, sad, sadly didn't uh, make the cut, but were very close to. Uh, the Some Kind of Wonderful made in 1987, Chances Are made in eight, 1989, and Kissing Booth made in 2018. I love Kissing Booth. Whenever I can't find a movie to watch, like, in the evenings, I always choose that one. Never gets old. Let's move on to the number one movie. Okay, the number one movie um, is, drumroll please, 10 Things I Hate About You, one of my favorite movies of all time, made in 1999, has only a 69% on Rotten Tomatoes and a 7.3 out of 10 on IMDb. It brought home only 38.2 million US dollars. It had the budget of 16 million US dollars. Um, it uh, it was nominated for 13 awards and won two awards. It's about the pretty and popular girl who can't go out until her not so popular. She can't go out on dates until her not so popular, ill-tempered sister goes out um, on a date. I'm gonna say it again. I'm sorry. I'm gonna say it again. This is an amazing movie. Exquisite. Exquisite. Exquisite? Yeah, exquisite. Um, a great movie. Um, yeah, anyway, that was your guys' top 10 romantic comedies. Um, I loved everything that you, uh, chose, chose, chose. Uh, if you haven't watched any of these movies, I really recommend that you guys go do that. Make sure to tell us on the community page if you enjoyed this video and if you would like to see more of these videos. Make sure to get us to a hundred, I don't know how to do this without Ash. Um, make sure to get us to 100,000 subscribers. That's our goal. I don't know. 
Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed.